where's the breakdown? Why isn't things being corrected? And why aren't they being looked at? Questions not even a police chief is able to get answered about what's happening behind the walls of a maximum security juvenile detention facility. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Joyce Taylor. I'm Greg Copeland. The inmates there are as young as 16, and police say they are being exposed to drugs as powerful as fentanyl while they're locked up. King 5's Maddie White joins us now with more on the Centralia Chief's plea for accountability. Maddie. That's right, Greg and Joyce. And what makes this story even more shocking now? King 5 has obtained documents showing the governor's office flat out rejecting the Centralia Police Chief's request to investigate this. The cop says there are continuing problems at the Green Hill Juvenile Rehabilitation and Detention Facility, also called the Green Hill School. We saw that as a, a huge red flag that needed to be corrected. Baggy upon baggy of drugs. Roughly about 1,100 uh, fentanyl pills. And contraband. We have numerous cell phones. Uh, cell phones themselves are what's allowing, I would assume, to for them to order up more stuff in this juvenile detention center. We entered Green Hill. We served the search warrant on the lockers that normally hold uh, uh, their evidence. And then we seized all property property. The top cop says was never reported to police. They're not allowed to possess that. The chief wrote a letter to the governor's office begging for a state investigation describing other findings. Police discovered that in January of last year, a student inmate texted a security staff member about getting him a gun and about the purchase of MDMA or ecstasy. As far as I'm concerned, that is completely unacceptable and we need to do a better job. Six months later, a female staff member of Green Hill with a violent record hired by Green Hill after they got out of prison later commits a drive-by shooting according to police but it was with a young man who'd just been released from Green Hill from the same unit she worked in the chief told the governor's office our investigators suspect there was an intimate relationship between them the governor's office's response though an individual may have committed a crime in their past those who have been fully rehabilitated and have a deep personal commitment to serving youth can be very effective fast forward to fall a 17 year old student inmate almost dies from a fentanyl overdose and was kept on life support at harborview but taylor wanhoff the deputy general counsel at the governor's office said they are declining to refer this matter to the attorney general's office for further investigation. All we're asking is to look at those, investigate those, and change those tactics, change what they're doing now because they're obviously not working. And what we got back was a little disappointing. In that response he's referring to, the governor's office also told him they spoke with the DCYF leadership and were told they'd recently made positive changes to their security scanners, training academy, and supervisor academy. Now, King 5 reached out to ask the governor's office for comment on this, but they responded saying they will get back to us tomorrow. And DCYF declined to, to talk to us about this story at all. I'm Maddie White. Back to you.